Congresswoman Lauren Boebert, whose husband showed his penis to minors in the middle of a busy bar while he was with Lauren Boebert's stepfather, decided to use TYT as an avenue in which she could attack Joe Biden. But she did it in a, fan, in a fascinating way. So let's take a look, here's the tweet. Even the Young Turks, the most brain dead liberals, I didn't have trouble getting my high school diploma, with the ability to live stream, know that Biden's lip victory lap on gas prices is absolute bull crap. And so she had embedded a tiny little snippet from a video that we did recently. If you're wondering what that video contained, let's just quickly watch it so you know where what she's trying to say here. He beat gas prices. Beat gas prices to a pulp, take this. Gas prices have gone down a little bit from the insane astronomical high that we've been experiencing. You know why? He laser like, eyed him. It's still super high, okay. it's still high. And that's right, gas prices are super high, still high. Even though they've been coming down, You credit where credit is due. But is the credit meant for Joe Biden? Joe Biden can't unilaterally do much about high gas prices. So to blame him for high gas prices is ridiculous. To give him credit for low gas prices is also ridiculous because gas and gas prices are tied to what is known as the OPEC cartel. Okay, oil producing countries who can actually withhold the production of, uh, of oil in order to artificially inflate the price at the gas pump. And then when you have Russia invade Ukraine, that makes matters a lot more complicated because Russia is one of the countries that's considered part of the OPEC cartel. And we haven't nationalized our fossil fuels, meaning companies, fossil fuel companies can drill as much as they want, but there's nothing stopping them from exporting these resources to the highest bidder. Which is why the United States is the top oil and gas producer in the world, and also the top oil and gas exporter in the world. It's a little complicated. I try to I try to talk a little slowly so uh, Lauren Boebert, who had difficulty in getting her GED, can understand what I'm talking about. Okay, so look, a uh, couple of things. But call us brain dead. No. Uh, the right wing just doesn't understand this because they never think this way. So that's why I want to just clarify it. We're something called honest. So that's why we criticize Democrats all the time. And that's why we criticize Republicans all the time because there's a lot to criticize. And we have an honest critique of the Biden administration. In fact, if you watch the show, there's tons and tons of that. Democrats complain nonstop about how much we criticize establishment Democrat, Democratic leadership, Nancy Pelosi, Joe Biden, etc. Because we're honest. Okay, but unlike like the fake left wing, like the Tulsi Gabbards, Glenn Greenwalds, etc., we also criticize the right wing because boy, is there a massive, massive criticism of them that makes a ton of sense. It's just normal, what used to be normal journalism, but everybody's picked a side. Exactly. Mainstream media has picked a side, and that's corporate rule and the status quo. The right wing has picked a side, like Donald Trump can never do anything wrong. Really, everybody else can lie, but Donald Trump can't lie. Uh, idiots like Lauren Boebert believe that. They're like, oh yeah, dude, dude, that's a liar, liar, liar. Trump, oh, innocent, perfectly innocent Donald Trump says the truth every time. You have to be incredibly stupid to believe that, really like record breaking. All right, and the other thing is, to Anna's point, we're consistent. You know, we've talked about this on the show for 20 years now. There's things that the president can control, things that the president can't control, things that are short term, things that are long term, right? So Obama handed Trump a really healthy economy. He wrote off that for a long time. But, and Bush handed Obama a bad one. But there's been different times when Republicans have handed off something positive to Democrats, and we tell you that on the show. And in the case of gas prices, Lauren Boebert says when they're high, it's definitely Joe Biden's fault. But when they start to go lower, it is definitely not his credit. Well, I mean, how do you, how can anyone look at that comment and go, oh, that's a smart, honest person? No, that's an obvious liar. And, or maybe she just doesn't understand simple logic. There are two kinds of people in the world, okay? Uh, ignore everything else you've learned about people, but there are two different kinds of people, particularly in the United States. There are bitches for the elite 
like Lauren Boebert, who provides cover for the criminality committed by Donald Trump and his cronies. And then there are people who believe that the justice system should not be a two tier justice system where the elite are held above the law and the rest of us suffer consequences that they don't have to suffer. So for instance, if we had taken classified documents out of the White House and we stashed it at home, you think we would get a subpoena two months ago asking us politely to hand over the documents and before the raid happens? No, they would raid us immediately. There would be no discussion, we'd already be in prison. But to see members of Congress, to see members of the right wing media, remember, press is supposed to hold people in positions of power accountable. They're supposed to speak truth to power. Instead, right wing media is providing cover for the potential criminality of Donald Trump in this particular investigation. Two different kinds of people in the world, bitches for the elite, and then people who actually wants to people who actually want a fair and honest and just society. That's that's the reality here. Now, what am I talking about when I say uh, bitches for the elite? Uh, Lauren Boebert happens to be one of them. Yeah, I said it because here's what her reaction was after the FBI raided Trump's Mar-a-Lago home. We are ready for battle. I've talked to many of our my colleagues and we're ready to work on this in the House of Representatives. We need oversight and we need more than that. We need prosecutions. The American people are demanding that. They don't want just truth, they want accountability. And additionally, I'm supporting Chairman Perry's impeachment articles against Merrick Garland. He called moms and dads domestic terrorists for being involved in their children's education. And he has now used the DOJ to target President Trump and and Chairman Perry under uh, Garland's watch, the DOJ resembles the Gestapo more than a justice seeking agency. Yeah, so listen, there are plenty of reasons to attack the FBI, which is by the way, currently led by Christopher Ray, who was appointed by Donald Trump. Christopher Ray was also uh, confirmed by every single Republican senator who voted for that confirmation. So just important information there. Notice that the right wing never has a problem with the FBI when they're raining terror on ordinary Americans like Muslim students. They infiltrated student organizations that had Muslim students in them. Okay, with no like real probable cause or anything. He's like, oh, they're Muslim and 9-11 happened and like let's just let's just infiltrate Muslim groups. Why not? No, no problem when you have the intelligence community working to orchestrate coups of democratically elected leaders in other countries. No, when they talk about going after the FBI, understand that it's not because they want to criticize it for raining terror on ordinary people. It's just that they want the FBI to work for them and they don't want the FBI to use any of its investigative powers to look into potential criminality on the right. That's really what's going on here. Yeah, so a couple points on that. She she almost said something true there. She said they, they don't just want the truth. She could just leave out the just part. Her voters don't want the truth. They don't care, hey, did Donald Trump really hide national security documents and classified documents. Why is he hiding them? Why won't he tell us what's in the warrant? They don't care about that. They just think Trump's my guy. I don't want you to prosecute him. Merrick Garland's not my guy, so I'm gonna call him Gestapo. There's not a shred of evidence that Merrick Garland has broken the law. Who cares? She said we're gonna prosecute him. Wait, he's the Gestapo? You just said you're gonna prosecute him without any evidence. And then they, even though they have evidence against Trump, you don't want him prosecuted. That's kind of what the Gestapo would do. And so, but they just don't care about that. And and look to, about the warrantless wiretapping. Uh, let's talk about that for a second. That targeted real Americans, right? We know for a fact that George W. Bush, a Republican president, did it. And every Republican at the time was like, no, it was awesome. You have to spy in on Americans, real Americans that have no power, crush them, right? And what did the elites do? And it's not just Republicans. See, we're fair, we're not like the Boberts of the world. George Bush spied on all of you guys and we called him out on it. Then Obama came and covered his ass and refused to prosecute him, right? And so it was also, and we criticized Obama because we're against the elites, we're for the American people. Lauren Boebert is just like mainstream media, just like Nancy Pelosi. Protect your own, 
don't care about the real people at all. It's just a game that the elites are having and Lauren Boebert is 100% part of that. 100%. All right. Well, we got to actually I have to I have to mention this one other thing because this is this is the mindset of right wingers. They like Lauren Boebert has this same mindset, right? Where they think left wing commentators, left wing media, they're going to go ahead and protect Biden and Democratic politicians no matter what. One person writes to me, what if the classified documents that Trump took home with him illegally proved more Obama and Bush war crimes? And I responded, great, they should be prosecuted for war crimes. Why, why is that a hard question? And it's only a hard question if you say, I don't give a goddamn about the facts. I just want my guys. And I assume you think like me that you're corrupt like me. And if we found out that Obama had something had done something deeply illegal, you were just trying to protect him anyway. Obama's and to be not fair, our daddy. Anna, like we don't we don't have un, like limited loyalty to Obama and Bush. They're not my daddies. They should be prosecuted for war crimes if there's ev- well with Bush definitely evidence of war crimes. I would say the same with Obama, considering there were U.S. citizens that were killed in drone attacks. Abroad. Well, and we're the only show that says that because the right wing media loves illegal drone strikes, right? And and. And to be fair to those guys, they assume that about us because that's what mainstream media does. They cover for Obama and Bush. Notice they thought we were going to defend Bush. Yep. We spent eight <laughs> years kicking the living crap out of George I W. Bush. Bush. But <laughs> but they watch MSNBC and MSNBC loves Bush, loves the uh, Dick Cheney now. Yeah. And they claim to be the left, right? So people think, oh, you must like Bush and Obama. And by the way, no two idiot Republicans, Bush. Was the dumbass you chose, not us. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.